Hello and welcome to my channel. In this channel, we explain various nursing concepts in a simple form for better and easy understanding. These videos could be used by both LPN and RN students as well as nurses who are trying to refresh their basic concepts. My name is Nas Mosh. So in this video, we're going to start talking about our acid-base balance, one of the talked about topics in nursing school. So what is acid-base balance. Acid-base balance are imbalances and it ranges from basic to a complex level and there are four different types of this basic balances. And before we start talking about this imbalances of the acid base, let's talk about ABG. What is an ABG? An ABG is actually a blood, arterial blood sample that is used to assess the acid base balance, ventilation and oxygenation of the patient. It's not a vein sample. It's normally drawn from a functional artery and prior to this an allen test is performed to ensure that there is adequate blood flow through the ulna artery and once you complete drawing this blood you need to put pressure on the artery remember arteries have a higher pressure than the vein so we'll hold where we've removed the blood for at least five minutes and if this patient is on anticoagulants meaning thinning agents you need to hold it longer because they're at risk for bleeding anyway so let's talk about this abg components and their parameters and what exactly they are so what is the ph our ph expected range is normally between 7.35 to 4.5 and what is this this is actually the acid base balance of the blood meaning the hydrogen ion concentration in the blood our pa or two. What is our PA2 expected range? Is between 80 to 100. And what does this measure? It actually measures the oxygen pressure in the arterial blood. The PSCO2 ranges between 35 to 45, and this measures our carbon dioxide pressure in the arterial blood. The HCO3 ranges between 22 to 26, and this actually is bicarbonate, and it's important. It's a buffer in the blood. It's regulated by the kidneys. This is our buffer. Our HCO3 is a buffer. And SAO2, which is our SA2, right? SAO2, and it's normally between 95. A normal range is 95 to 100, and this measures the amount of oxygen bound to hemoglobin in the arterial blood. So the key things to interpret our ABG is normally the pH, the pCO2, the carbon dioxide level, as well as our bicarb, which is the HCO3. And we have three buffers that we need to know that regulates our acid base balance. First of all, it's the chemical. They are actually present in the body fluids. So they act immediately, they come out, they bind and release ion to help promote the acid base balance in the body. If that doesn't work, it goes down to our respiratory system. Our respiratory system controls the carbon dioxide in the arteries and it responds to high oxygen levels in the arterial blood and this induces our respiration breathing. And our, lastly, the rest system is slower but it responds more powerful and it's more long acting our renal system will respond with reabsorption of bicarbonate that's it retains the bicarb to maintain that hemostasis so let's talk about this imbalances about acid base balance so the imbalances are either metabolic or respiratory when we hear acidotic meaning the pH will be below 7.35. Remember, our pH normal range is between 7.35 to 4.5. So when we say acidotic, something will be below 7.35. And when we say alkaline, right, alkylosis, it will be above 7.45. And with metabolic, our pCO2, the CO2 is going to be normal. All right. What will be changing when we're talking about our metabolic, whether it's acidosis or alkaline, it will be the bicarb. And with the respiratory, the pH, of course, it will be depending on if it's acidosis or alkalosis. 
And with this, since it's all respiratory, the carbon dioxide will be the one changing, but the bicarb will normally be normal. So, for example, metabolic acidosis means that our pH is below 7.35. Our PCO2, our carbon dioxide, will be normal and our bicarb will be low. It will be below 221. Metabolic alcid alkalosis, our pH will be above 7.45 pco2 will be normal our bicarb level will be high okay respiratory acidosis our ph below 7.35 our pco2 will be above all right 45 and our bicarb levels will be normal our respiratory alkalosis will be 7.45 right above that our pco2 will be below 3.5 and our bicarb levels will be normal so some people remember this that respiratory will be opposite and metabolic will be equal like the parameters like with metabolic for example metabolic acidosis the ph will be low the bicarb will be low the metabolic alkalosis the ph will be high the bicarb will be high respiratory acidosis the ph will be low the co2 will be high and the respiratory alkalosis the ph will be high the pco2 will be low what is the responsibility for this acid base values so there is a possibility there is a possibility for acid base values to be normal abnormal and uncompensated partially compensated or fully compensated so always look at the equation to see what's going on okay so what is compensation compensation this refers to the process by which the body attempts to convert or correct those changes of imbalances in pH that we are compensating. So for a fully compensation to occur, it's when the pH level of the blood returns back to the normal range between 7.35 to 7.45. And if the pH level is not able to normalize, it is referred to as a partial compensation. So some tips you need to remember. So the three values are normally the normal values, the pH, the CO2, and the bicarb the hco3 and if three values are normal then everything is homeostatic if two values are normal and the ph is normal this is a full compensation so you'll check which of the values are abnormal and you'll know what we are talking about and uncompensated is when two values is not normal a combination of any two values and three abnormal values in the ABGs are partially compensated or combined. It's a disorder, right? Something is going on. So in the next video, we're going to go into detail for the causes and signs and symptoms and treatments for this metabolic acidosis, as well as alkalosis and respiratory acidosis and alkalosis. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye.